I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank him and all the subscribers for taking keen interest and trusting me for a solution of their questions. The question here is, ratio of persons who like apples to oranges is 5 is to 3. If 46 more persons like apples, then how many persons were in the survey? Excellent question. Now let me answer this in two different ways. Let's try to understand what ratio really means. So what we are saying here is that numbers of, we want to relate ratio with number of persons surveyed. So whenever we say 5 is to 3, in this case, we are saying apples to oranges. So let me write apples to oranges, right? So when we are saying persons who like apples to oranges is 5 is to 3. What about total number of persons surveyed? If 5 like apples, 3 like oranges, then we are talking about 8 persons. Does it make sense? So that means out of 8, 5 like apples, out of 8, 3 like oranges, and therefore the ratio of persons who like apples to oranges is 5 is to 3, right? So I hope this statement is clear. That is how we could actually treat any ratio statement, right? So normally total number is not given. We have to just add them up to get it, right? It is there. Now the question is, if 46 more persons like apples, right? For example, if the number of apples is 46 more, that means this result is 46 more than the oranges result, then how many persons were in the survey? That means we have to write, we have to find how many persons were here so that persons who like apples take away oranges is 46. You get an idea. That is what is required. And we don't know this number. So we say let this number be x. Is it okay? So we say let this number be x. That means let the number of persons surveyed be x. Now when x persons are surveyed, 46 more persons like apples. Anyway, if 8 are surveyed, then 5 out of 8 like apples and 3 out of 8 will like oranges, right? If you survey x, then this number gets multiplied by x, right? by x, got it? So, if there are x persons surveyed, then 5x out of 8 is to 3x out of 8 will like oranges and apples. Does it make sense to you? Right? If you add them up, if you add them up, you get 5 plus 3 is 8x. Divide by 8 is x. So, total is still x. Do you get an idea? Now, what we are given here is that 46 more persons like apples. That means their difference is 46. Why? Right? That means, let me write it, write it down here. That means difference between apples to oranges, the person's likings, is 46. So we say 5x over 8 minus 3x over 8 is 46. Do you get an idea? So we get kind of fraction, right? 5x minus 3x over 8, right? This is same as 5x minus 3x over 8. 8 is the common denominator, is 46. And when you take away, you get 2x over 8 equals to 46, right? And you can find what x is. So x is equals to 46 times 8 divided by 2, right? Let's use the calculator, right? It is times 4, I know that. But let's use the calculator. 46 times 8 divided by 2. And we get 184. Do you see that? So 184, 184 is the total number of persons who should be surveyed so that 46 more like apples if the ratio is 5 to 3. Do you get the whole idea, right? So that is one way of solving this question. And I hope it's straightforward and it helps to understand the concept of apples. I'm very thankful to my subscribers to bring, in, to bring this question up. Now here is an alternate way of doing it. Let's talk about the alternate method. So I'll just give you, I mean, 
alternate method. Now, if you see here, we are seeing 2 out of 8. How many like apples more? So, the question is, if 46 more people like apples, then, it should be then, how many persons were in the survey, right? See, from here, 2 out of 8, do you see that? 2 persons like more apples than oranges out of 8. So, the ratio basically is 2 out of 8. Now, we want to know 46 out of how many? 46 out of x. Do you see that? So, we could treat this as, as a ratio question itself. So, the difference 5 minus 3 is 2. So, 2 and total is 8. So, out of 8, 2 more people like apples. 2 more people. So, 2 out of 8. And we are say, given 46 more persons. Out of how many? This is what we need to find. Right? So, that gives you the answer. That is, x is equals to just cross multiply. 46 times 8 over 2. Right? Purposely, I am not writing 1 over 4. Because I want to maintain this fraction so that it helps you to understand. 2 out of Eight, right so I want to bring that up we get exactly the same answer which is 184 do you see that so getting the concept of ratio is very important at times if you use this kind of a method you save a lot of time to solve such questions so the answer is number of persons surveyed right is 184 is it okay so that is how it could be solved. So alternate methods sometimes can be very, very effective. Amadil Kumar, let me first, let me again thank my subscriber for sharing this. And I hope this solution helps many others. Thank you and all the best.